Hey guys, so today we're going to do another tree problem. And this is a fun little problem. We're going to try and print out all of the nodes in the tree in level order. And so by level order, in case you don't know, what that means is that we're going to start at the top, which is level zero or level one, depending on how you count it. So the root of the tree is level zero. The next, all of the children of that are level one and then level two. So we're going to print out with this example tree, we're going to print out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or what we have here. And that is what we're going to try and do for this problem. And you'll notice that this is a little bit different than the tree problems that we've done thus far, because all the problems that we've done thus far are were depth first search problems. So we did that recursively and we sort of went, we started at the top of the tree and then we went through each path individually like this and we went through the entire first path before we went to the next path and then we continued on and went through all of the paths and so this is going to be a depth a breadth first search problem which is the opposite of that because you can actually think about this problem like we are going through the nodes in order of their distance from the root of the tree and breadth first search is great for looking at things that are in order of distance from a given node because we're basically in our breadth first search we start at the top it's exactly what we're trying to accomplish right we start at the top and then we look at all the nodes that are one like node away and then we look at all the nodes that are two nodes away and that actually makes breadth first search a really obvious solution for this problem so in terms of questions for this problem it's pretty straightforward i don't have any real questions you might want to check how you're going to handle in case the tree is null or something like that but we can just dive right into the problem and we'll figure that out when we get there there are only a few little things that we need to worry about so we might as well just get right ahead and get started and i'll just copy this so you guys don't have to watch me type it but we're going to have our node class like we usually do and then we're going to have a private void and i'm going to call it traverse because that's basically what we're doing we're basically traversing the tree and then that's going to take in a node tree and you can tell the return type is void what i'm going to do is i'm literally going to print out i'm going to include a print statement and it's just going to print out all the nodes rather than returning a list of nodes in order or something like that you could do that too and that should be pretty clear when we implement this how you would do that but for now i'm just going to do it this way because it's a little bit simpler uh, we're gonna when we do a breadth first search what we do is we take a queue and we continually enqueue each node that we come across onto the end of that queue and then we dequeue the node that we the node at the beginning of the queue so we're going to start by enqueuing the first node and then we're going to dequeue it and get all of its children so we're going to enqueue both of these and then we're going to dequeue this one and get both of its children and then we're going to dequeue this one and get both of its children and then we're going to go through all of these and we're going to dequeue them and get all their children which are null in this case so we're just going to return uh we're just going to go through all of those and that's going to be in order because we're starting at the top and then we're adding them to the queue in the order of their depth. So we're gonna go ahead and create a queue of nodes and we're gonna, I'm gonna call it to visit because these are the, all of the nodes that we have yet to traverse. And we're going to create a new, I'm gonna create a linked list because Q is an abstract type in Java, so we need to have some specific implementation. And that's gonna be of nodes. And then the first thing we're gonna to do to kick this off is we're just going to add our tree to the queue. So we're gonna to say to visit dot add, and unfortunately I wish that it was dot nq and dot dq because that would make more sense to me, but it's not because it's a linked list and that's Java for you, but it's fine. You just, you know, whatever works, right? And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a while loop and we're going to go through that while loop as long as our queue still has elements in it. And once we get to the bottom of this, 
the bottom level, we're going to stop adding more elements to the queue because the children are all null. So the queue is eventually going to run out of items. And that's going to give us our end case for this while loop. And that's exactly what we expect. So while to visit is not empty, so is empty, then we're going to remove a node and we are going to print out that node and we're going to add the children of that node to our queue, right? So, and what I actually missed here and is something that I mentioned earlier, and of course I forgot it, and this is the sort of thing that happens all the time in interviews, but you need to check that your tree is not null. Because what's going to happen, so what's going to happen if we try and add null here? Then we're going to pop off or we're going to DQ null and we're going to try and access the children of that. And that's not going to work, obviously. So, and that's going to lead to an exception. So we want to make sure that if tree equals null, then in this case, we're just going to return because we're not going to print out anything if it's null. So just return. And now we can come and we say node, this is just going to be our current node equals to visit dot remove. And now we're going to print out curse. So we're going to say system dot out dot print. And I'm just going to print these on separate lines so that I don't have to worry about adding spaces and formatting. But if you wanted to instead, you could do like a system dot out print and you could do cur dot value plus a space, for example. That would be a reasonable option if you want to do that. But I find that to be a little bit of a pain. And then you end up with a trailing space at the end, which I don't really want. So, and I don't want to have to try and handle the last case specially. So I'm just going to do this. And then we need to add both the children. So I'm going to just check if each child is null. And if it's not null, I'm going to add it to my queue. So I'm going to say if cur dot left, and we want to go from left to right, right? So we're going to start with the left child and then the right child. So if cur dot left is not equal to null, then to visit dot add cur dot left. And if cur dot right, is not null, then to visit dot add cur dot right. And that's basically all there is, right? Because we're going to go through our loop and we're going to keep adding them and keep removing them until the queue is empty. And then we've, we know that we've gone through all of the nodes in our tree. So that should be it, but let's test it and make sure that it works the way we expect it to. So I'm going to just put our, I'm going to say that our to visit is here. And so we're going to add tree or we're going to pass in tree. I'm just going to use this tree here as our demo. And then we're going to pass in tree and tree is not null. And so to visit is going to become a new linked list and to visit dot add n or actually, sorry, this should be tree. So to visit dot add tree. And so we're going to add tree here, which is one. And maybe I will just do a linked list notation like this. And so we're going to now, while tree is not empty, or while to visit is not empty, we're going to get the first node. So we're going to remove this first node from the list. And now we're going to print out the value. So our output is now one. And we're going to get, we're going to say is current dot left not null. And it's not because it's two. And then we're going to add that to our list. So we're going to say, we're going to add two here. And then is current dot right null and it's not. So we're going to add current dot right to our list. So we're going to add that here. And now, and as you can see, I'm doing this the opposite of the way that I, this is a queue. So I'm adding them to the end of the queue. And then we're going to pop off from, or DQ from the front of the queue. So that we're doing the uh, first in, first out for the queue. So we're going to come back here and the queue is not empty. So we're going to remove two. And now we're going to say, 
we're going to print out two, and I'm not going to put this on another line because it's going to take up too much space, but we'd be printing it on, on separate lines. And then is the left null? It's not, so we're going to add four. And is the right null? And it's not, so we're going to add five, just like that. And then we're going to go back to our loop. It's not empty. We're going to remove three. We're going to print out three. We're going to say that the neither child is null, so we're going to add six and seven like this. And then we're going to say it's still not null, so we remove four. We print it out. And now both of the children for four are null, so we're not going to do anything. And then we're going to remove five and print that out. And both of the children for five are null, so we're not going to do anything. And then we're going to come back and the queue is still not empty. So we're going to remove six. We're going to print out six and six has no children. And finally we remove seven and print it out and seven has no children. So we get this output. That's exactly what we expect. And that's a pretty straightforward demonstration of breadth first search. And that's a pretty popular problem. So I hope that made sense and I will see you again soon.